Good morning, everyone. So, as we were doing the second chapter of the unit trigonometry, so let's get started with that. From the fifth, fifth question, we have to do okay. So, here is the fifth question if cos theta is less than or equal to half, what is the least acute angle theta? If your cos theta is less than or equal to half, then you have to find that what will be the theta. So, given cos theta is less than or equal to half, and on seeing the trigonometric ratios we have, the trigonometric table which I have taught you in the previous video how to make. So, if you see, you will get cos 60 degrees is equal to half. So, in place of half, I am writing cos 60 degree from the trigonometric table. So, here you have cos theta less than or equal to cos 60 degree on comparing the cos function. You know, if you compare the cos function, what you are getting, you are getting theta less than or equal to 60 degree. So, on comparing the cos function, theta is less than or equal to 60 degree. So, what was the question? What is the least acute angle theta? So, theta 60 degree, it should be less than equal to 60 degree and it is a acute angle also so theta is less than equal to 60 degree all right similarly c question if tan theta is less than equal to 1 what is the least acute angle of theta okay wait so what is the greatest acute angle theta the same procedure tan theta uh, less than or equal to 1 and we know tan 45 is 1 degree oh sorry 1 from the table Okay, so in place of 1, we are writing tan 45 and on comparing the tan function, now we will compare the tan function. So, theta will be less than or equal to 45. So, at last you have to write that theta is equal to 45 degree because it is the greatest acute angle theta. Since this is an inequality and this is in this inequality, you have one equal to sign also. So, finally, you can write theta equal to 45. Similarly, in the first question, no. You can write theta equal to 60 degree because theta was less than or equal to 60 degree. So, which is the least? So, less than or equal to 60 degree that means this will also be this will only be the least. So, similarly, here also theta is equal to 45. Okay, let us come to the next question 6th B. Which among sin 45 cos 0 sec 30 10 30 is greater than 1? So, you need the chart for this one. So, let us write all the values and let us check that which value or which uh, that means which is which among these is greater than 1 sin 45 is 1 upon under root 2 under root 2 the value of under root 2 is 1.414 1 upon 1.414 it is coming 0 0.7071 cos 0 is 1 sec 30 is 2 and 10 30 is 1 upon under root 3 so under root 3 is 1.732 1 upon 1.732 uh, is 0 0.577 so, if you see that uh, sec 30 which is greater than 1, so it is greater than 1, else rest are not. Okay, so seventh one, fill in the blanks by less than, more than or equal to. You have to find, uh, you have to find that which angle is greater than which one, which is lesser or uh, which angles are equal. So, let us just, uh, let us just take the trigonometric table and the values and let us see what trend it is trying to tell us so if you see the sign you see the values of it 0 half 1 upon under root 2 root 3 by 2 1 if i convert 1 upon 2 is in the decimals so 0 half is what 0 0.5 1 upon under root 2 is 0 0.70 root 3 by 2 is 0 0.86 and 1 so 0 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.1 you can see that as the theta increases, this is the theta, this is the angle. As the angle increases, the value of sine also increases. If you compare the cos, which we already know that 1, then 1, then root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2, 1 upon under root 2, then half, then this reverse. So, 1, then 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, and it became 0. So, as the theta increases in the cos, the value decreases. Okay. So, let us take theta and value. Let us make two work. If theta increases, value increases. If theta increases, value decreases. And let us check for the tan. 0, then 1 upon under root 3, 1 root 3 infinite. So, 0, this is 0 0.5, then 1, 
then 1.732 and then infinite so from 0 to infinite it increases so as theta increases the value also increases so we have to keep in mind and uh, do the things now say for example if i ask you sine 70 degree and sine 90 degree which is the greater so anyone can say that sine 90 is greater but if i ask you cos 10 degree and cos 70 degree which is the greater one so it, the cos 10 degree will be greater one because as i told you the value is in the decreasing order and this is in the increasing order okay from smaller to larger and this is from larger to smaller so cos 10 degree will be greater than cos of 70 degree and the same case is of tan whatever you according to the angle you have to just see okay so that is how you do this question this is very easy one so i'm keeping it for you to do okay okay now let us come to the main questions find the value of each of the following now i told you that you have to remember the values of the trigonometric functions okay so it would be better if you just uh, that means by heart or i just say you do the question so much that the values get printed in your mind okay so let us start with this sin 45 cos 45 minus sin square 30 degree you know one thing i just want to make you understand that at sin uh, if i ask you at which theta or which at, at which angle your sin and cos will give you the same value so you have to remember at 45 degree your sin 45 is 1 upon under root 2 and cos 45 is also 1 upon under root 2 so what do you mean by this that theta is only the angle where your sin function and cos function they both are seen okay so please keep in mind this thing sin 45 is again 1 upon under root 2 cos 45 is 1 upon under root 2 sin 30 is 1 upon 2 the whole square root 2 root 2 is 2 minus 1 upon 4 taking the lcm 1 upon 4 is the answer so you only have to put the value in this question okay okay so here is the fifth question it says 2 root 2 cos 45 cos 30 plus 2 root 3 sin 30 10 60 minus cos 0 so 2 root 2 as it is cos 45 is 1 upon under root 2 cos 60 degrees 1 upon 2 plus 2 root 3 cos sin 30 is 1 upon 2 10 60 degrees root 3 and cos 0 is 1 substituted all the value okay i have substituted all the values from here 2 to 2 and root 2 with root 2 you are left with 1 this uh, 2 with these 2 root 3 root 3 3 and minus of 1 1 to 1 cancelled you are left with 3 okay question number 9th b1 4 upon 10 square 60 degree plus 1 upon cos square 30 degree minus sin square 45 degree so again put the values 10 60 degrees root 3 so it is a square so that is why we are doing uh, root 3 the whole square so always remember uh, if you have the square of any function so it will be written like this say for example sin square 30 degree so this is nothing sin 30 the whole square either we write this one or this one they both are same you don't have to square the angle always remember if sin 30 the whole square it doesn't mean sin square uh, 900 degree 330 square that is 900 so it is nothing like that the angle never get squares only the function gets squares okay so remember this just small thing okay so cos 30 cos square 30 degree which means cos 30 is root 3 upon 2 the whole square minus sin 45 is 1 upon under root 2 the whole square okay so this is 4 upon 3 this will be 3 upon 4 and minus of 2 upon 3 this will go up so 4 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 minus half this will be 8 by 3 minus half or solving will get 13 upon 6 okay okay let us directly come to the, to the 10th d1 uh, see i'm not doing the question why because you only need to see the values from the chart or else you do one thing learn the values keep in mind and then you do this question because you only have to put the values here and just solve you have to just calculate the evaluate the things that is why i'm leaving such type of questions for you to uh, just practice 
so much so that it would be a very handy for you to solve okay so i'm taking 10th of d1 just try to understand 4 sine to the power 4 30 degree plus cos to the power 4 60 degree minus 3 times of cos is equal to 45 degree minus 2 sine square 45 degree according to the question we just need to put the value and evaluate it so 4 as it is sine 30 degree is 1 upon 2 to the power 4 plus as the power is 4 that is why power 4 cos 60 is also 1 upon 2 to the power 4 then minus sign 3 times of cos 45 is 1 upon under root 2 the whole square minus this is also 1 upon 2 root the whole square okay so this is 1 upon 16 and this is also 1 upon 16 and minus sign 3 this is 1 upon 2 minus 2 into this is 1 upon 2 so from here you see that this two with these two we can cancel 1 upon 16 plus 1 upon 16 will give you 2 upon 16 minus 3 so half minus 1 what is half minus 1 minus of half okay so you can calculate no by taking lcm 1 minus 2 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 or you understand it half minus 1 will give you minus half so as you see that we can 4 to the 8 so directly 1 upon 2 will be the answer 1 upon 2 minus 3 into minus this minus minus plus half plus 3 upon 2 like fraction 1 plus 3 4 4 by 2 2 okay okay so next question is 11th one if pi is equal to 180 degree then find the value of the following i'm taking the b part okay you are given with sine square pi by 3 plus tan square pi by 6 minus cos square pi by 2 so the very first work is to put the value of pi in this so sine square 180 by 3 plus tan square 180 upon 6 minus cos square 180 by 2 so 180 upon 3 will give you 60 degree this is in degree okay tan square 180 upon 6 will give you 30 degree minus cos square this will give you 90 degree sine square 60 as we know sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 the whole square 30 degree is 1 upon under root 3 and it will be also be uh, the whole square and cos 90 is 0 0 the whole square so it will give you 3 by 4 and this will give you 1 upon 3 and minus of 0 that will be 0 only so what will be the final answer 9 plus 4 upon 12 or finally what we can write 13 by 12 this is the final answer okay